Hello everybody, it's the Crypto Guru here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Minergate. But I'm not going to be talking about their mining software, I'm actually going to be talking about their Bitcoin cloud mining contracts. So as far as I'm able to tell, these are fairly new, and I've actually talked about them with their support staff, and they seem pretty interesting. So today I'm going to be comparing them to Genesis Mining, and I'm going to go through the pricing and just a little bit of how profitable they are. So jumping into the numbers, if you go to Cloud Mining, Hashing Power, and then click on Buy, it will show you how much you can purchase. You can purchase as little as 20 GigaHash, and then it looks like there is plenty of power for you to purchase if you are interested in that. These are lifetime contracts. I've confirmed that with their support staff, and I've also gotten a little bit of information on their fees with withdrawals. So we're going to be comparing it against the Platinum plan on Genesis Mining, which is 2,500 gigahash and is also an open-ended Bitcoin mining contract. So if I enter in 2,500 right here, you can see the upfront cost is measured in Bitcoin, and it's 0 .05085. So I'm going to convert that here to US dollars, and you can see that's about $361. So that's very comparable to the $350 plan which Genesis Mining offers and that's really not bad when you think about these plans are sold out because they're such a good deal and Minergate is not. So the upfront cost is not the only cost you have to take into account. You also have to take into account the maintenance fees. So Minergate charges a very small fee of .00028 cents, that's US dollars, per gigahash. So that would be times 2500. So that's a 70 cents daily charge that Genesis Mining charges with this plan. Now if we look at the Minergate plan, they charge again just a little bit more at 82 and a half cents per day. So again, really comparable in their pricing. So what about withdrawals? Minergate has a not so great reputation for charging really high withdrawal fees and then Genesis Mining doesn't have any withdrawal fees at all and they pay you automatically. So that is going to be one thing that differs between these two platforms and that is something you have to take into consideration. Minergate charges 0 .001 Bitcoin for your withdrawal fees. So that is 0 .001 and if we wanted to make sure that we were only being charged about 3% which is a standard transaction when you're talking about things like PayPal and just other regular US services like maybe credit cards or something. So if we want to make sure we're not being charged more than 1%, we can do this simple math here and we need at least 0 .033 before we are going to be able to withdraw that profit and not be overcharged in our withdrawal fee. Now some people may still think that a 3% withdrawal fee is too high and I personally do agree with that but that is the starting point that I go from because at least at that point it's not higher than anything else that you'll encounter like PayPal or another regular service that you use. So comparing that to Hashflare the fee is really not that bad. Hashflare charges somewhere in the range of 0 .0016. Now this does include some actual Bitcoin that you'll be getting so like on the Ethereum number here they charge 0 .0006 and that's actually what their fee is and then the 0.1 is what you'll be getting in Ethereum but their Bitcoin plan is a little bit different with their withdrawal so I'm not exactly sure on the exact number but you can see just based on this that the number is pretty close to what Minergate is charging so Hashflare again is not really much of a great company anymore either but it wasn't really because of their withdrawal amounts so that's one thing to keep in mind is that this fee is kind of high but honestly it's not that bad and if you purchase enough hashing power then it really won't matter anyways. So looking at the profitability of this plan if we go to a mining calculator and we put in 2500 giga hash then you can see per day we can earn three dollars and eight cents or if you're looking at it yearly you can earn eleven hundred dollars a year. So right out of the gate, that looks really good, but we need to make sure we're taking the fees into account. 
So looking at the fees of 82 and a half cents per day, we're going to do 82.5 and then multiply that times 365 days in a year. That's going to be $300 that you're going to be paying in fees. So this 1100 actually turns into 800 in terms of your profitability within a year. But if the plan is only this much right here, which translates to the $360, then your $800 in profit is really good. You've done more than double your earnings in the course of one year. Now, with the fees and with the withdrawal fees and everything, it's not going to be exactly this. And it's no comparison, I would say, to Genesis Mining. But since Genesis Mining is currently sold out, I would say that Minergate is a really great alternative if you can purchase enough hashing power. So I think this is where they kind of get you, where you can purchase 20 giga hash, but you're never really going to have enough to pay for the withdrawal fee. So honestly, for me, when I calculated it, I think I was looking at needing about 5,000 giga hash to be able to earn my money back quick enough that I'd be able to do a withdrawal in a reasonable amount of time. So if we look at the $2,500 plan that I was comparing earlier, $2,500 gets you 0.1579 per year. So that by itself is really great, but that's only if you did one withdrawal. So if you wanted to do a withdrawal a month, you would use this number here, which is 0 0.01298. And if we look at that in terms of how much the fee is in percent, then we can see that it is over 7%. So in terms of withdrawing monthly, you're going to have way too high of a fee. So to make this more profitable, you're going to want to withdraw every three or four months if you're wanting to maximize how much you're actually getting out of your plan. So if you're only purchasing 2500 you might want to watch when you're withdrawing. If you're purchasing 5000 or more, you can pretty much withdraw every month. But again, unlike Genesis Mining, it is not going to be every day. So the withdrawals are going to be a little funky with this, but as far as I'm aware, there are no issues with it, and they do mine, and they are working. Now, personally, I don't have any money to invest in this. When I get some, I will probably do so, but right now I'm saving up for the Genesis mining contracts that are anticipated to come back in the next few weeks. If you're too impatient for that, you can purchase these here. Or if you want to purchase these after Genesis Mining has sold out again, which will happen very quickly, then these are a great option. You just need to make sure that you're willing to wait a little bit for your withdrawals and or purchase a really big amount of hashing power. Now, a really big amount, again, kind of depends on how much you're investing. You know, if you're investing $3,000, then you're going to be able to withdraw probably every week with no issue. But if you're like me and you only wanted to invest a couple hundred dollars, you're going to have to wait for your withdrawals in order to not pay a really high fee percentage-wise on how much you are earning and how much you invested. So overall, I think these are great plans. And if you are looking to invest in anything right now, I think they are really great and I would love to try them myself. I do plan to try them in the future, but right now I just don't have the funds to do that. So if any of you all do decide to invest in this, please let me know how it goes. I have not heard of any bad news with it or any issues with it. It's not anything like a scam. Minergate is a very reliable company, and they are a very legit company. So I do recommend these if you are looking for an investment. But if you can, currently I would recommend waiting for the Genesis mining contracts to come back. After those are sold out once again, I don't think they will come back for a while. So this might be a great opportunity after that. But that's all for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next down in the comments.